Hey, good morning. How is it going, guys? So, this is the first video of the introductory series of Analytics Pro Data Science. So, if you're new to the channel, uh, I say subscribe because there are many more videos to come. And if you're already subscribed, then like and share this video with all your friends so that they can join you on this journey and sit back and enjoy. What I have come up with for the first video is a series of who's and what's because um, after the initial video of our channel we had a lot of questions from people like what is data science what is big data I have never heard of it many people uh, they were hesitant and they asked us that how can we like can we take it up as a career uh, what can we do can we work from home so I think we should address these questions because it is important uh, to move forward and so yeah sit back and enjoy we'll be answering a few of your questions that maybe you want to ask or you are unsure about so yeah so what is data science and how did it come about well data science it has been around for quite a while now actually uh, for 30 to 40 years uh, it came around first in 1960s 1970s uh, around that time, we have this paper from 1962 by John Dubli Turkey called The Future of Data Analysis and another paper by John Turkey uh, called Exploratory Data Analysis. These two papers, these two papers, they talk about data analysis and it is 1962, so, so many models and stuff are not there, but he does talk about many big data terms, data analysis. So uh, then this um, association was formed called International Federation for Information Processing uh, which, which took out this book called Tied to Concepts and Terms in Data Processing from 1968. Uh, this paper was the first from an international congress to actually use the word data science in its paper. We have the International Statistical Institute uh, from US, which in 1977 uh, established this new foundation called the, in the International Association for Statistical Computing. In 1989, uh, the first KDD, that is Knowledge Discovery in Databases, uh, workshop was held by Gregory Shapiro. So we'll be talking about knowledge discovery in databases at a later time. Next we have uh, in late 1994, so you can see a gap of around 15-20 years where not much progress was made. And then suddenly in 1994, the cover of Business Week, uh, that is a very famous magazine, uh, was database marketing. Now uh, what companies did were they started this uh, checkout scanners at the shopping malls. So even maybe you remember this, uh, the checkout scanners, what they would do is when you have the uh, goods that you want from the shopping mall, you have to like uh, check it out um, by paying cash and then they make a receipt. And what the companies did is they took the receipt and then they like analyzed it for uh, customer product prediction so that they could better know what products that you need uh, so that they could provide that to you. But what happened is, uh, most companies, they were overwhelmed with the amount of data that they were receiving and they could not process it properly. In 1966, we have data science classification and related methods. This is a paper by the Federation of Classification Societies. Now, these classification societies uh, they have like quite a few bit of other classifications uh, which we'll also be talking about in further videos. In 1997, we have this professor uh, called C. J. Wu. Uh, he was the Chinese professor from Georgia Institute of Technology. And what he said is, uh, he suggested this, we rename statistics to data science and rename statisticians as data scientists. Uh, so that happened. And in 2001, in 2001, there was this article uh, called Data Science Action Plan by William S. Cleveland. And it talked about the expansion of statistics into data science 
and how we can apply models um, and the new emerging technologies and directly embedded it into statistics uh, but that actually didn't come about and uh, statistics uh, nowadays is quite different uh, from data science as you can see in the Venn diagrams uh, given on the screen um, it has shifted uh, the paradigm of statistics and the paradigm of data science they are not completely different but they are not that related either nowadays data science you have to understand is a very umbrella term uh, it consists of many things machine learning, deep learning uh, it has these high um, intensity statistical models there are various types of graphs and plots uh, statistical analysis um, statistical analysis is very geared towards um, small data sets statisticians are trained to work on small data sets and of course they have very high accuracy into small data sets maybe but uh, in data science we work on huge data sets and these huge data sets uh, you can characterize uh, big data using five V's uh, these five V's are the fundamentals and if anyone asks you what is big data how can we know if uh, this data is big or not then we can give them um, these five V's and you can tell them that uh, on the basis of these five V's big data is classified then in 2007 in 2007 uh, the research center for dataology and data science was established in China Fondu um, China said that it is not like natural science or social science and it is actually a new kind of science that was a quote <laughs> and uh, then in 2012 um, throughout 2009, 2010, 2011 a lot of many papers were established um, lots many countries and many uh, data centers were developed uh, many countries what they did is they made associations based solely on data analysis and in 2012 finally uh, we have this Harvard Business Review report in which it was said that data science is the sexiest job of the 21st century so that brings us to the end uh, of today's video Пишут не велес, залогинься,